It's me, it's me, it's OPIE. <sighs> hey, what's up guys, OP09, 09 back here for another video. And this is my way post Halloween horror Blu-ray video, pickup video. Um, I've had a lot of these titles for a little while now, I just haven't made a video about it. And I thought, dude, it's getting late, it's almost Thanksgiving, I need to pump this video out. So, um, I feel like six other videos to do too. But anyway, like I said, I wanted to get this out. I think I have 20 titles. Maybe, maybe not. If you guys want to count them. If not, who cares? I'm not going to count them. But um, we'll go through them. Uh, a lot of these titles, this, there's anything like really, really recent. A lot of this stuff's from like a month ago, like I said. Uh, released a month ago. I think some of them released in September. I'm sure most of you guys have them. But I just wanted to show them off so I can, you know, catalog them and, and whatnot. In my super simple catalog, which is a Microsoft Excel sheet. But, um... Let's get started. No order either. I'm just going to kind of go through. Uh, first pick up here. And mm, I could have swore I've seen this film when I was younger, but I don't remember much about it. But I, I watched the trailer again when I heard it was getting, and it's been released multiple times for multiple different companies, but I saw this one like a, like a limited slip. And I, I love the zombies. I mean, I watched the trailer and I, I just have a, a, a really... I don't know if you're like a fascination, but a real liking of, of older zombies, you know, 70s, 80s zombies. I just think they look so much scarier and just grimy and it's just so more believable. And they, they just creep me the hell out over, you know, nothing nothing wrong with today's zombies. Like for The Walking Dead, for instance, the zombies, the, the effects and the, the makeup and all are top notch. But there's just something about these older zombies and the, the lower budgeted you know, makeup and, and everything like that. that they, they just seem more realistic to me and just absolutely scared the shit out of me. But anyway, um, <clears throat> picked up Burial Ground here from Severin. <coughs> <coughs> Haven't opened it up yet, obviously, to watch it. There's my nice DS fingerprints on it. And I got lucky, too. I know uh, Culture Tree made a video, uh, his collection video. Check it out if you haven't. Subscribe to him as well. And um, he said he had picked it up, and he didn't get a poster. And I believe he ordered it before me. I remember seeing a post or something where he showed, like, on his Instagram that he had gotten it. I still haven't even got mine yet. But um, somehow I was lucky enough to get the poster here. I say lucky, maybe not so lucky, because I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Probably nothing. I'm not going to throw it in the trash, maybe. I don't know. Maybe somebody will want it or something. I don't know. 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 Next. Um, and I guess I've got like a, a little Severn collection here going. Uh, these were... Actually, I'm sorry. Five. Uh, Severn Films. They had five titles going out of print. And they did some kind of package deal. I think it was... Five for 50 or 40 or 30, something like that. Or you, you didn't have to get all five. You get one, two, three. Um, I decided to just get all five. I've never seen any of these. I've only actually heard of one. And I believe that's the best of the bunch. But I still have to watch them. I haven't opened them yet um, to watch. Which is obviously a, a regular occurrence with me in watching movies. I show them off and I never see any of them. But who cares, Jared? Just fucking show us what movies you got. Uh, Psychomania, and this one here uh, was the only one, they didn't have any Blu-ray copies of it, so your only option was a DVD. So Psychomania, uh, Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing and Horror Express, uh, The House of Seven Corpses, <coughs> The Baby, and this is the one that I've heard of and, and heard a lot of good things about, or maybe, maybe not a lot of good things, but some good things about it, uh, Bloody Birthday. Uh, was it like a group of killer kids or something? Sorry for the shaky too. I got this on like this old fashioned ass uh, dinner table dinner tray and shaking all the hell over. So yeah, I think I'm getting like a little Severn collection going here. Oh, I got six Severn films now. Awesome. Go me. Uh, up next, uh, <clears throat> 60s Alien film. Best Buy had it. I have a 3D TV, so that kind of enticed me even more to pick this up. And I heard a lot of good things about this as well. And for $7.99, can't beat it for a 3D title. Uh, it came from outer space. Really cool. Um, a little bit of bonus features. Uh, Universe According to Universal, a documentary. Feature commentary, and then the trailers. There's that. Uh, and then I've got, and I think everybody's got these. But really cool titles. I'm not a fan. I'm not I'm a fan. I just would appreciate it if they, they put a little more effort into the actual packaging itself. No complaints in regards to features or anything like that or the actual movies they put out. Although, again, I haven't seen any of them. I've watched two of the three now. Um, but I wish that they just would have had at least different cover, like the art on the Amore compared to the slip, 
maybe a little booklet or something for the amount you're paying for these titles. They're like $25, $30 titles. But anyway, uh, Vestron Lionsgate release. Um, I should actually shut off one first, but whatever. This is, uh, you can't really see there, but it's sleeve two. Uh, Blood Diner. Um, I heard a lot of people talk about this, uh, especially um, Jay Absolute Sublime. I remember him, it may have been a few years ago, talking about it. He really wanted this to come out on Blu-ray. And it was a movie he, he was holding off on. I think he had the DVD, but it was like on top on his list of films that he wanted to see on Blu-ray. So they finally put it out here. Um, I liked it. Not really my cup of tea. Um, I, I tried to get into it. I don't know. It was, I think it was like, I'm all fine with the cheesy horror and everything. Like that. That's kind of like my favorite. You know, like again, being not being a huge horror fan, but I love the cheesy stuff. But um, that was maybe too cheesy or I, I don't know. I just didn't. Didn't enjoy it, enjoy it. It was okay. I'm going to keep it and everything like that. I don't really get rid of movies often, but... Um, anyway, up next, this one I really friggin' enjoyed. Uh, Chopping Mall. I had so much fun with this film. Um, I was actually talking back and forth with uh, Bri Brian. <laughs> Ryan, Blu-ray Lantern, while I watched it. We were going back and forth, and he was telling me about it. And Man, I really enjoyed that film. Um, there's some hilarious scenes in it with... Uh, basically, <coughs> it's a, a, a set in a mall, and... Um, they, instead of having like human security, it's robots or the security and the security guards, the robots, they eventually turn on the people in the mall uh, one night and they just start killing all the people. So, um, but the way it was done was so cool. I like the way the robots looked. And again, back to the funny part, there's legit a part in this movie where a robot rides an elevator, which me explaining it's not going to be ha -ha hilarious. You need to watch it, but I'm telling you, you see it. It's hilarious as well as um, there's a robot in one part of the mall. There's another guy. And he's about 10 feet away from the robot. He jumps on like one of those um, those little uh, mall cars, little, little carts. Literally drives 10 feet into the robot. I don't know what he thought he was going to try to do. It does absolutely nothing. He flies off the cart and there's like a little explosion of the of the cart. Hilarious. Me again doing it just, I'm not in like the, woo, it's kind of late. But you need to check that movie out. Man, Chopping Mall. Out of all three, I mean, I haven't seen this third release, but I'm going to assume Chopping Mall is going to be my favorite. And then with that being said here, I got Waxwork 1 and 2. Haven't even opened this yet up to, uh, haven't opened this up yet to watch it. <coughs> oh. Never give a fucking, was that a death call for it there? <sighs> what do we got next? Uh, film I showed in my, I got a, a steel book from eBay, Amazon. Uh, I got a package from eBay, Amazon. I got a package from Amazon, UK. Uh, I still haven't opened this up yet, but The Burning. Really cool film. Really cool edition. And I have, the, like I said before, I have the Scream Factory, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to open that one up. Uh, then we got here, uh, The Wailing. Went and read a couple of reviews on this thing, and it got, like, rave reviews. It is a really cool movie. It's long as hell. It's, like, a little over two and a half hours. Um, not as good as, as I, I heard through the reviews, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm sure I'll watch it again. Uh, basically, <clears throat> out of nowhere, it's like this little town. I think it's like Korea, a Korean film. South Korea. Um, this this random guy shows up to like this village or this town, and out of nowhere, all these people just start acting crazy, acting weird, killing each other, killing people, killing themselves crazy and there basically there's like a a cop a sheriff not a sheriff a cop and he's trying to figure out what's going on like his even his daughter gets involved in it and like i don't really want to give away spoilers as to what it is or what happens or what this guy is but i definitely say check it out if you have almost three hours to kill i think it was like 15 dollars at best buy as well so it's not too expensive really cool uh slip here too really like that slip got some embossing there in the uh the title really cool film though and it's got the guy from uh i can't remember his name but from the good, the bad, and the weird, um, he's pretty cool. He's actually a main, a main um, part of that film. He does a good job. Up next here, a film I thought was really, really cool, and I heard a lot of people in here that picked it up uh, thought the same thing. Kind of like a throwback to the '80s slashers. Um, I say that like I know what all about '80s slashers, but anyway, Fender Bender uh, with the super awesome reversible uh, sleeve art. There, really enjoyed this film. Um, definitely check it out if you haven't. It's really cheap at Best Buy. I think it was like 13 bucks. But like I said, really cool throwback to, you know, 80 slashers as, 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 for as much as I know about them, which isn't a lot. But 
I can say that because other people say it. So I'll say, yeah, it's a throwback. Hopefully people believe me and think they, they think I know what I'm talking about. Uh, up next here, we'll go through these here. Uh, I got the Hills Have Eyes um, box set from Arrow. Really, really cool. I haven't opened it yet, but there's a bunch of videos of people opening them on on uh, on YouTube here. Um, I will be honest, though, I do really enjoy this film, but I'm a bigger fan of the uh, the remake. So, such is life, huh? Up next here, big fan of Godzilla. Had the Criterion release. Have a couple other Godzillas floating around. Um, had to pick this up. Uh, Godzilla 1984. I said to pick it up. I don't know if I've ever seen this, but I just know it's a sequel to the original Godzilla. And this is the first time the uh, uncut and uncensored original epic, it's the first time it's in North America. And I literally paid, I think it was like 9 or $10 on Amazon. So, really cool pickup. Not much in a way of features. There's actually no features at all, it just says. Unless maybe there are. I haven't opened it up to, to check. But it says in, in English and Japanese with English subtitles, extras. Mm, I don't know, but... Super cool pick up there. Up next, <clears throat> really excited. Uh, hoping that these these get enough support behind them, which I think they will, and people pick them up so that they really say Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, the, the the Legacy Collection. He's my favorite. Love the creature. But anyway, I picked up uh, the Wolfman and Frankenstein. I think they were twenty dollars at Best Buy. Both awesome sets. Big fan of Universal, uh, Universal Monsters. They're just um, they're they're good flicks, man. They're good old school black and white horror flicks. Um, the only thing I know some people can, I don't really know if they complain. People just, you know, said a couple of things about the fact that some of these titles kind of float through both releases. You know, you got a uh, Evan Costello meet Frankenstein, uh, House of Dracula, House of Frankenstein are both on here. And Frankenstein's got eight films. Uh, Wolfman's got seven, but I don't know if you can see that with my terrible lighting, but there's the seven films on uh, the Wolfman set. And the eight films on the Frankenstein set. Haven't opened these up yet. I've, I don't think I've seen all of these. I know I didn't see Werewolf of London and She Wolf of London, but um, I have the regular box set that they came out with. It has like the first films for all of them, all the Universal monsters. But um, yeah, I'll eventually I'll crack into that. And then last here, two Scream Factory pickups. Uh, first one here, again, just like um, Blood Diner. Maybe not exactly a blood. I probably like this a little more than that. But uh, Screen Factory released a carry, which I actually dig this artwork more than the deluxe artwork. Which I only picked up the deluxe editions for the thing in The Return of the Living Dead, which are two of my favorite films. Um, come on, screen. Like, I don't know what I want to say, but I picked up the first two. Like I said, again, thing in, the thing in Return of the Living Dead are two of my favorites. So I had no problem with the deluxe edition. I wanted the slips, the posters. I talked before about the Return of the Living Dead, regret and selling that, but I got it back thanks to uh, thanks to Dan, Reject Films. But I stopped after that. Like, Carrie, I, I don't know why they can't just release box sets like they did for Nightbreed for these movies. Like, yeah, I'm a slipcover whore, but I don't need two slipcovers for the same movie and two posters. Like, I'm cool with, like, a poster. And give me a box set, man. Give me a box set like Nightbreed for these, these, these movies. But anyway, off on a little... Not a... a, a a, a rant or a tangent, just a little side side uh, story there. But I'm not a huge, huge fan of Carrie. Um, it's okay. Like I said, I picked it up first, mostly because I I try to get uh, all the collector's editions, and this was another collector's edition. I need it, but I'm not a huge fan of this film. It's it's all right to me, but again, had to get it. And then this one here, last pickup. <coughs> I am. Well, I mean, I'll show it first. It's it's Child's Play. And I don't know why I do this to myself and torture myself. I am deathly afraid, even at my older age, of ventriloquist dummies and dolls and just dummies in, in general. They scare the shit out of me. Um, I still have dreams of Chucky. He's probably the worst one. I refuse to watch Dead Silence. But I'll just give you this a little bit here. And this is the dream I legit, 30 years old, I still have this dream. It's really weird, though. So I start dreaming. You know, when I fall asleep, I dream. We all dream? Yeah, probably. Um, what the hell am I talking about? Anyway, so, yeah, I have these just recurrent dream, and I've, I've had it about 10, 15 times, where I'm running through a house. I don't even know if it's my house. It's just a random house, and Chucky's chasing me. And for some reason, 
every time I find like a bureau and a wall in a room, I run in there, I lay down face down and put like my head in between the bureau and the wall. And then Chucky comes in and he stabs me multiple times, like in my back and my legs, but I don't die, but I play dead. So he thinks I'm dead. Then he runs away and leaves. And then we do the whole thing again. I don't know why I have it. Well, I know why I have it because I'm afraid of them, but why I continually have this dream and why I do that, why I lay down, let him stab me. And then I don't know if I just punk kick his ass or something, but yeah, I'm afraid of ch a child's play. I'm afraid, well, not a child's play. I'm afraid of Chucky. He still scares me. I still at night as well. Like when I shut the lights off, my ass runs upstairs and it's not because I'm afraid of a monster or like a serial killer or I'm afraid of, of him and mostly afraid of him cutting my Achilles tendon. I don't know if any of you guys are like that. Anything with the Achilles tendon is like nails on a chalkboard for me. I, I absolutely hate it. I dread it. So like there's scenes where um, these little damn dummies, somebody's standing next to a bed and they, they're under the bed and they come up behind it and they slice the tendon. Cringe, absolutely fucking cringeworthy. Sorry for the F word, but cringeworthy. So anywhere there's child's play. I think that's it. I got a nice little stack already going f for uh, my next update, um, but I just wanted to do like this last bit of hard, and I get I didn't get the show in October. Um, side note two, uh, Doctor Movie ninety one, go check out his Bluetooth Rewards video. I'm gonna tag it or link it down in the bottom here. That dude works his ass off and puts so much effort and work and everything into that award show, and bringing the community together and getting people to find out about other people and and. Be, get people becoming friends and all he does this is all him man like he's one of the best guys on here i've said it but before about him dr movie 91 one of the absolute best on here he does artwork for everybody not for everybody but he does artwork for a lot of people he is such a he is such a nice guy and he's doing this for you for me for for everybody just he wants the community to get together i think it's such a cool idea i wasn't a part of it last year because i didn't make videos i will be a part of it this year i actually have to still send him out my email but check his video out Show him support. Show everybody support, man. Send him an email. Like, like I said, watch, watch the intro. There's his intro video. It tells like the questions he's going to for like the categories. You can nominate people. You can nominate yourself for things. Everybody get in and do this, man. There's no reason why everybody in this community can't go watch that video and get involved in this Bluetooth Awards and make it one of the biggest things on here. You know, I really enjoy this community. I'm getting to a point, man, I love this community. Like, just I've met so many cool people. I've only been on it for four months. I've met so many cool people, and I'm ecstatic to do this this Bluetooth Rewards thing just to maybe find out about more people or, or get, you know, get friendly or cool with, with people. I, maybe I don't even know about their page. You know, I can start subscribing to new people, and people can find out about my page and just go back and forth and make more friends and just make us, make us you know, a really fun thing. So definitely check out Doc. Also, like, you know, in your, your email, man, send him a big thank you, dude, a big-ass thank you. Dude's awesome. That's my video. 18 minutes. Um, my next video, I think I have two contest videos I'm going to do. Get out there. I want to support some of my uh, some of my buddies on here with their contest. That update will probably be a couple weeks away. And there's a couple other videos that I can't remember what, I've, what, what the videos are. But they'll be coming out soon. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Any comments you want to leave down there? Be more be my guest man if there's any things i don't remember did i ask anything in this video and i don't have an answer for it i probably did if you heard me say anything and it was wrong or i asked a question and didn't have an answer and you want to answer it for me to help me out i'd appreciate it um and i think that's it man so if any of you guys you know not any of you guys if you guys could be so kind i'm the one at it man i don't do any friggin' editing in these things so you're gonna hear just all my mess ups my screw ups i like it that way though man it's it's me this is me i'm not perfect but uh, no offense to anybody edit, edits their videos because you guys do awesome jobs. There's some guys out there, and your editing is just crazy. I couldn't even dream of editing my videos that well. But um, anyway, take care, everybody. Uh, if you could be so kind, please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Auf Wiedersehen. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn, burn motherfucker.